Hey, what is going on there YouTube? This is the Game Guy and today I'm bringing to you the drop list or the full drop list for this week which is week 14 of the full winter season. Now this drop list went out at about midnight, however I already went to sleep by that time otherwise I probably would have had like an extremely early drop list video go out. But nevertheless, let's get into this drop list. There's probably one item that I pretty much want to go for this week uh, and that will pretty much be it. There are a couple of items that are dropping that I'm sure most people probably like. But overall, there's only one item that's really just like sticking out for me that I want to go for. So, let's get straight into this. Actually, forget what I said about only going for one item. There are actually two items this week that interest me. So, yeah, I'll be going for more than one item instead. Possibly a third item uh, due to it being a bundled sort of item. But let's get into this drop list. So the most hyped item of the week so far uh, is a hoodie. I've seen a lot of people actually in the Discord group. Link down below if you'd like to join it. But they have been mentioning this hoodie quite... Okay. My face cam just cut out. Brilliant. Now I'm back. Okay. Amazing. So they've been mentioning this hoodie quite a lot. It's been a piece that they have mentioned a lot and in short it's a text stripe hoodie. It says that it's got embroidery so it must just be the text then because I can't see anything else that could be embroidered. So the text on this piece has to be embroidered all over. Now personally it does look quite nice. Not in every single colourway. I think that the heather grey colourway and the red colourway look quite nice in this. The purple and black also make it look quite nice, but I definitely think that the heather grey is nice for this piece because it's just quite low-key with the look of the font. But yeah, this is a hoodie that a lot of people have been waiting for, and I mean a lot of people have been waiting for it to come out. Just personally, it's not my sort of piece that I'm going to be going for. However, the second piece is probably one that I'm going to be going for because I find it quite cool. It is the hand warmer. I'll probably be going for this in the normal supreme colourway of the red and white. However, I might possibly go for the camera colorway because that looks quite cool they do have a poll on this at the moment and the results go that 45% want the red 30% want the camo 16% want the black and 6% are after the blue colorway I think that the camo colorway looks quite cool though so I might possibly be going for that I do think that this hand warmer will possibly overtake the top spot though because there's only a difference of about a thousand likes so far and most people haven't seen the list and the drop list will sort of continue until the drop on Friday so it's got like a full three days for people to go over it and give like their likes and dislikes on items. Moving on to the third item we have a Gore-Tex beanie. The good thing about this beanie is actually that it's waterproof which is quite crazy for a beanie to be waterproof. Uh, it's actually tried. That's that's really um, changing my opinion and making me want to go for it. However, I'm not going to be going for this beanie. It is extremely nice because of the fact that it is waterproof as well as the fact that the Gore-Tex is obviously embroidered on it. Most of the pieces now, most of the beanies now include a lot of embroidery and this one has the exact same. Personally, I would probably be going for the uh, sort of dark colorway or maybe they, they might call it royal. I'd either go for the royal or the white colourway in this piece, possibly the black or pink, but I think that the blue stands out quite a lot. Okay, as per normal, from here on out, a lot of pieces go downhill, um, and we're only after, we've only just like finished the top three, and they already go downhill, so let's get into them. So the next item is the striped rib hooded sweatshirt. Striped rib hoodie. Uh, basically, it's the complete colour, but then at the base of the piece, the bottom like, I guess like 8th or 16th has this uh, stripe going around it. Personally, I was actually a fan of this in the sort of, again, like heather grey colourway, I was a fan of this. However, now looking at the other colourways that sort of accompany it, uh, I'm not the biggest fan of it, to be honest, after looking at every single like other colourway. It's not the greatest of pieces, I can agree to that. So yeah, it's not the most amazing piece in the world. Following that, we have the quilted denim pilot jacket. Now, to be honest, I actually like the design on this piece or the work on this piece. It looks extremely nice, especially in the sort of natural denim blue colorway. Uh, it does look quite nice. Now, all over the piece, it's got this sort of a diamond sort of design going over it. However, on the back, it features a embroidered graphic that is sort of giving an almost I don't know how to put it it gives me a sort of like old monarch looking design if you 
like sort of get the way that I'm looking at it. It gives me that sort of feeling. However, it has not received the greatest of feedback and obviously over the time that people have been looking at the items that are left to drop, it has received five and a bit thousand dislikes. Whereas it's only got about 2,000 likes. So, yeah, it's not really one of the items that people are after. However, I'm sure, or I'm just guessing that I would think that it would possibly sell out in either one colorway. Or in a couple of the sizes, I would see this sell out. Just because it is that time of year, I would expect, like, at least a couple of the sizes in the colorways to sell out at least. But yeah, that is that item. Moving on to the next piece, we have the hooded plaid work shirt. I'm pretty sure this was the piece that was meant to drop last week. And my brother had the argument with me over whether it was plaid or plaid. Um, and I said it was plaid. But yeah, I was, I'm pretty sure this was already meant to drop and I wasn't a massive fan of it. There are a lot of people who were fans of it. Uh, but just personally, I'm not the biggest fan of it. But it will be dropping this week instead. Next up, we have the Gore-Tex 6 panel. So obviously they've got the Gore-Tex beanie and they're going to be dropping the 6 panel as well, which is also waterproof. I do like this, uh, the sort of flower petal sort of design. I think that's the best colorway in this uh, 6 panel. When they release the Gore-Tex pieces, I probably should have gone for one of them in this uh, colorway because it does look really nice. Following that, we have the Patchwork Sherling B3 jacket. I'm 100% sure I've seen this before as well, or I'm just having deja vu. But this is going to be dropping. It's made with lambskin leather, which I think will make it a bit more expensive, just down to that fact. It's not a bad piece, personally. I don't think it's a horrific piece, but I don't think releasing a Patchwork jacket is what people are really after. Uh, the last couple of patchwork pieces just haven't received the greatest of feedback. So I don't know how they're going to feel about this one. I do like the sort of like black and white colorway in this though. I'm not a big fan of the sort of almost natural looking colorway uh, but I, or brown colorway. But I do like the black and white in this piece for sure. But again, it might have a quite high price tag just because of the materials that it's made out of. So I will not be going for it for that fact. Next up we have the Boucle Camp Cap. I'm trying to think if I pronounced that right, but oh well. I'm not really a huge fan of this piece. I remember it from the lookbook and I wasn't the biggest fan of this piece. Uh, the first sort of colourway isn't really my sort of go-to colour. I think the colourway on the right hand side which almost gives a sort of neon looking colour is a piece that I like or prefer a lot more. Uh, just because it has these like speckles of blue included and with the sort of navy backing to it, it gives it a different sort of tone. But again, things look entirely different like or differently when you receive them in hand to what they do online. So it could look horrific in hand compared to it looking like this neon almost colour online. So the next piece is actually a piece that I am going to be going for. It's the Heathered Ear Flap Beanie. I would want to go for it uh, in grey with the blue striped colourway. Uh, this is a piece that was from the lookbook that I really liked. I do also like the like red colourway with the black, but I think that the grey is just the colourway that I prefer. I know that a lot of people aren't massive fans of this piece, but I just feel that you're getting almost two for the price of one when you're getting a beanie with sort of ear flap covers as well, instead of having to stretch the beanie completely down your face. I know it's not the most appealing look for a piece, however, if the use is to use it for like the winter time to cover your ears, then that's the best thing to do. And yeah, I'll definitely be going for this piece because it has been on my sort of hit list of items that I would like. Next up to match the striped rib hoodie, we have the striped rib sweat pan. I don't know how people are going to feel about this to be honest. Uh, it hasn't received the greatest of support. The white colorway looks okay again in this piece. Also the navy colorway does look quite nice in this but I don't know they just look like the, uh, the Hanes bottoms to be honest or the Hanes pants to be honest is what they look like. So <laughs> with the whole striped rib look to it they just look like that. So I don't know how these are going to sell. I would expect at least one colorway to possibly sell out or at least a couple of sizes to sell out because there will be a market for it. However, it's just not getting the sort of backing that most sort of sweatpants do because most sweatpants actually get at least some like support, but this just isn't receiving the greatest. Next up, we have the knit panel stripe long sleeve top. I don't really know what to say about this piece. To be honest, it doesn't catch my attention. It's got three times the dislikes to likes which isn't great for a piece and personally it 
does nothing for me. I would try to think about it from a different side of maybe it has some sort of appeal with the design, but I just can't seem to see a massive appeal for this. So yeah, it's not my sort of piece. I'm going to move ahead. So we also have an unseen Polotech scarf that is meant to be dropping. The only other Polotech scarf that I can think of, uh, which they last released, wasn't really my most favourite piece. Uh, hopefully if they do release one, or if they are releasing this unseen piece, then it looks quite nice. The next piece is a checkered denim shirt. <sighs> Yikes. Yeah, that... <laughs> Wow, okay. Uh, I'm just going to move ahead because that is just not a great piece, I'll be honest. The next piece we have is... What is going on? We have a corduroy detailed zip sweater. Again, personally, this just isn't my sort of piece and it's another just yikes sort of piece. I would understand releasing like a zip sweater sort of thing, but the, the, uh, the light colorway choices, personally, are just not amazing uh, the last time they released this sort of cheetah look it did not go down the greatest and i do not think that these pieces will go down great either because they just aren't looking anything special or anything detailed i will try and look at it from another perspective but it just doesn't look great at all the next piece is not confirmed just so you know this isn't a confirmation this is just it could or could not happen which is the blessed bundle now I presume you will buy the tea and then you will get the other things alongside it if it does release that is and for the final piece that is dropping this week we have the supreme timberland world hiker front country boot i was expecting quite a lot for the timberland sort of collab that they were going to release i was expecting some like i was expecting something that could make up for sort of like the past timberland collabs that just haven't gone down too well and the items have just quickly flopped below retail in like no time at all and people have barely been able to get like half of retail back but yeah they're just not doing anything great with this one and personally it just doesn't look like anything special it doesn't even outdo like the usa flag design that they released um it just doesn't look like anything great personally so that is going to cover this week there's a lot of good items but there are also a lot of horrific items items that i'm sure were meant to drop a while ago or i remember seeing in drop lists so i'm having a lot of deja vu with most of the items but yeah, there are a couple of items that are good that are dropping still. There are a couple of items that I'm looking forward to trying to go for. But apart from that, there are probably going to be a lot of expensive items. Because that's what it seems like quite a couple of these pieces are going to be. So that is the drop list. Comment down below what you'll be going for or whether you'll be sleeping on this week. If you are going for anything, what size or colorway or what colorway just by itself are you going to be going for? Or, as I said, are you just going to be completely sleeping on this week and leaving it alone? Other than that, if you enjoyed, like, be much appreciated. And, yeah, I will see you on Friday. Hopefully, I'm going to try my best to do a live cop. But, yeah, I will see you on Friday for a live cop, hopefully. Peace.